Hi everyone, I'm Laura Simpson from Web Luminary and I design beautiful websites with a content keyword strategy. In other words, I design websites with SEO. And the reason I do this is because I want to make sure that when my clients have a new website that's redesigned or brand new, that they're getting found on Google. And in order to do that, you need SEO, otherwise you're leaving money on the table. I'm gonna take you through three strategies so that you can do this yourself. If you're a small and medium sized business, you're in the right place. That is what I specialize in and I'm gonna help you get more leads from your website because chances are you're not you're getting most of your business from word of mouth and you're getting very few leads where people are calling you when they found you through your website and if that sounds like you let's keep on going and you should listen to what i have to say because i am actually ranked number one in my area for carry website builder Carry WordPress designer in about 13 other terms, and my business is two years old. And as you can imagine, a, a WordPress designer or a website builder is not exactly rare in the Raleigh Durham Triangle where I'm located. There's a million of us, and I think all of them know about SEO. So this is super stiff competition. And I am already ranked number one. So if I can do this, you can do this, starting from next to nothing, because I did this in actually less than two years, depending on the keyword. And I do this for all of my clients, because this is how you level up your business and go from zero to making more money. And if you stay to the end, I will give you my SEO super secret, well, super secret because I made it, spreadsheet, where I keep track, because this is the only way you can do this, I keep track of the keyword phrases that I'm trying to wait for, and I'm going to show you that, my strategy, so you can do it yourself. The goal of this presentation is to make sure that you learn even more about what you can do about SEO and not get overwhelmed. Because let me tell you a little joke. Where is a great place to hide a dead body? Page two of Google. <laughs> I don't know why I picture a body like underneath a piece of paper, but <laughs> it is where businesses go to die. If you're not on page one of Google, your business is going to probably die because you cannot be found and now everyone's staying at home they're not driving around and you need to be able to be found online it's just it's just the bottom line be found online let me teach you these strategies so that you get found instead of your competitors and you make more money because that's what it's all about and i assume you have heard about SEO. Maybe you've heard so much about SEO, you, you almost didn't sign up for this talk, you're so sick of it. And I assume you know about it, and I'm gonna just jump in, but let me tell you what SEO isn't real quick. SEO is not getting found for the business that your business name is. So what I mean is my name is Web Luminary, and if I type in Web Luminary into Google, I'm on page one. No kidding, I better be. That's my business name. What I mean is what I showed you in my example, which is getting found by Carry Website Builder, which is what my potential clients and customers will type in. And let me tell you one other thing. Two out of three people start their purchase journey on the internet and in search. So what I mean by that is that if they're looking for a lawyer to drop a will, they're gonna go into Google and type lawyer to uh, build me a will. This is how two out of three people start. And why would you want to lose business from two out of three people? Again, leaving money on the table. So let's not do that. 
And here are my three strategies from easiest to hardest. Number one, utilize Google My Business and get reviews. Then do keyword research and build your content around that keyword research. And three, do videos. These are all above board. These are all uh, tips that are gonna last forever and but they're not get rich quick schemes. This is takes a little bit of work, but that's why I'm giving you these from easiest to hardest. Here we go. This is number one, Google My Business. So when I say Google My Business, a lot of people don't know what I'm talking about, but then as soon as I pull up this um, picture, they're like, oh, that's what you mean. That is when you type in something into Google that's such a good match that it pulls up the name of the business on the right. And here's my Google My Business. And you can see where I'm located and how many reviews I have, how to call me, etc. cetera. If you don't have one of these, you need to call me now. And I will send you some emails on how to get started. It's 100% free. And you need to have one of these. But I'm gonna move on because I'm assuming you do. What you need to do is concentrate on getting reviews here. Almost all of my clients had reviews, but very few of them were using Google My Business to collect them. This is where you should have them collected. I had a realtor who had a bunch of reviews on Zillow. Zillow is okay, but if you're searching on Google, which 90% of the market is, they like their Google reviews. Google likes Google, right? So there you go. I had her email all of her clients who left her Zillow reviews, send them an email and say, can you please leave me a review also on Google? And then this is all I wanted to show you is this is how you create a link that you can give people. You copy and save this link and you put it in the email or the text message or however you're contacting your client so they, they just click on that link and it takes them straight up to a pop-up where they can type in their review or they can copy and paste it from an email. Make it simple. Make it simple for them to leave a review and many people are happy to do so. And so here's my number one tip. This is almost a quick get rich quick scheme because it has actually worked for some of my clients super fast and got them number one in three months just email your last 10 clients who have not left your review on google and ask for them to leave your review and then this is it of course not right this second that's tip one isn't this easy so let's go into the next one not quite as easy step two the next thing you need to do is create your keyword strategy. Don't guess on what people are typing into Google. Instead, find out what they're typing in exactly and how many people are typing that in. And the way that I do that is through Neil Patel slash Uber Suggest. This is a free tool. And here we are on Neil Patel slash Uber Suggest, which is the website that I was um, just mentioning here. And you'll see it says Uber Suggest at the top, and you can type in the uh, keyword that you want to start with. You see, I've typed this in before estate planning. Hit search. And what you'll end up with is a little graph on the uh, the volume and the number of people that have searched for this uh, in the United States. And this is the total 22,200 people have searched for this this month or last month. I'm not exactly sure. It's a full month worth of data. Next, go to keyword ideas. And that's where the good stuff is.
Here we go. This is what I love to see. I did a great search estate planning. That's the type of thing that you're doing when you're getting a will done. And 22,000 people also type this in. That's what search volume means. So now we know that that's a great keyword. What are some other great keywords? Go to keyword ideas. It's right below overview and see what these, you know, Mr. Neil Patel suggests. Estate planning, estate planning attorney, attorney to, for estate planning. All right, let me explain this little spreadsheet for you. If you're just starting out with SEO, you need to go for the highest volume, but the lowest difficulty. Keyword phrases to write, not one keyword, phrases. So key, estate planning is two. It has a search difficulty, that's what SD stands for, of 39. That's actually not bad in terms of difficulty. Anything under 40 is what I normally try for a brand new website. And there we go. We see estate planning attorney, estate plan attorney for estate planning. These are all great keywords that we can try to rank for and we can see the volume, how many people are searching for this word. And this is in the United States per month. The other great thing is looking to see what is the number one article or page or post that ranks for this keyword. For estate planning, it's this article and you can click this little square with the arrow and it'll take you there. And what I want you to do is skim it. I don't want you to plagiarize if you're a lawyer and copy this page. What I want you to do is see what's missing. I'm scrolling through. It's really not that long. I think the lawyer that's, uh, that hired me can do, write a much better article than this. Put in some more pictures. Highlight better your uh, headings and key terms. And then have a call to action at the end. This is how you do keyword research and plan your content. The next, the one other thing that I want to tell you is that you can export all this to a spreadsheet. And let me tell you real quick what these other things are, because I'm sure you're going to be curious. CPC is cost per click and PD is paid difficulty. Since I'm talking all about using search engine optimization, what I'm talking about is organic. That means this is what you will find in the search below the ad. That's what search difficulty is. Don't worry about these because I do not recommend doing ads and wasting money on ads until you at least figured out what works for you organically. Here's my little anti-ad speech. Sorry about that, anybody who does ads. <laughs> back to the presentation. Now that we've seen Mr. Neil Patel's website, I'll go over these. I think we went, oh, I did not say this. On his website, what's free is typing in 10 keyword phrases. So if I'd gone in and kept on typing the state planning attorney and each time I type in and hit enter, that's an entry. So you get 10 a day or you can pay $46 for the month and then cancel and do a whole bunch of research in one month. The longer the phrase, the easier it is to rank for because the more that people type in, the less likely they are to type in the exact same thing. That kind of makes sense, but at the same time, if you use estate planning attorney, that's a little bit easier to rank for than estate planning. Makes sense, right? And go for the high volume, low search difficulty, and then start planning your pages and posts. And as far as Google's concerned, it doesn't know the difference between a page and the post. It just knows that it's good content. Here's my last tip. Do video. I know, I'm sorry. I, probably half of you ran when I said that. And honestly, when my business coach suggested two years ago that I should do video, I felt the same way. I'm doing a 20-minute video now. I want you all just to do two minutes. You can do it. And let me tell you why. Because 
what is the number two search engine? YouTube. YouTube gives you some great Google juice because Google owns YouTube. I think a lot of people know that, but it is like a two for one deal. What I'd like you to do is talk to a customer or talk about a customer for two minutes about what their life was like before they hired you and how satisfied they are and how much better their life is or how much better their uh, will is set up correctly because they hired you. Then videotape it. And at, when clients see your face and hear your voice, they feel like they know you. This is huge. When you keep on hearing about that no like and trust factor, I mean, video is huge for that. And then you can play, paste it, place your video on YouTube and then embed it inside your website. On the homepage, if it's just two minutes, I wouldn't do any more than that on the homepage, inside a blog post. You could then write the blog that says what's inside your video if you're doing a how-to video, love how-to videos. Some people like to listen, some people like to read. Have it all there and you're getting found on YouTube and Google, two for one deal. And now that everybody is remote and socially distanced, I feel like video is what's connecting us. And I really, really think this is going to help a lot of small businesses. And I've already gone through all of this, you know, blog post, pages, doesn't matter three times, make sure your keyword phrase that we found in Mr. Neil Patel's tool is listed three times in a written blog post. You can use the search find in Microsoft Word, or if you're in WordPress, Yoast will tell you whether you've done that or not. And then to decrease your bounce rate, link your articles and your pages and posts together that are related. So for example, with my estate planning attorney, she has an estate planning page that describes her services and how it is to work with her. And then she might uh, link to an estate planning checklist, which that was actually on the list. I didn't highlight it earlier, but that's a great blog post idea, estate planning checklist. So your estate planning page links to your estate planning checklist, and people are staying on your website going, wow, how informative is this lawyer? I feel so much more at ease about calling them because they have broken things down and answered all my questions. That's how you rank in Google. Are you ready? This is fun. I actually love doing this, and that's why my speech is on this, but it's not a Band-Aid fix. It's a long-term strategy, but it's a long-term strategy that works. However, if anyone comes to you and says, I can promise you number one Google ranking in a week or two weeks or a month, don't trust them. They're, I don't think this is happening as often, but it used to happen where people were buying backlinks on the uh, black market or using black hat type of uh, techniques, and then they got banned from Google blacklisted. Google said their website is untrustworthy and now they're getting not being found on Google at all. At all. So don't, don't take a pirate's type of uh, approach to this. And as my gift to you, I am not only, you've got my homepage layout idea, but also you're going to get my spreadsheet. All you have to do is uh, message me because I think I've got everybody's email list from the summit, but I do not have whoever's listened to the end here. So if you listen to the end, email me at laura at webluminary.com and just say, I saw your SEO or just mention SEO summit and I will send you my spreadsheet. The other thing I wanted to do, because I want to thank you so much for listening to me, is I'm going to give two people a keyword spreadsheet done for you, highlighted with, if you already have a website, where you are ranking, where you should try to rank for next, 
and kind of come up with a list of priorities for you so you know what to do and you don't have to spend as much time on Neil Patel site and I've laid it out for you for your strategy. This is a $200 value because this takes me hours to do and I'm going to offer it to you for only $50 but only two people and in order to do that now listen carefully you need to text me SEO and you have to text my phone number 919-412-2822 to say it again, text SEO to 919-412-2822. I'm only taking two people and I'm gonna give you an SEO spreadsheet specific to your business, your industry, your location, so that you can start ranking on page one of Google. And that's my presentation. Wishing you a number one Google ranking. Take care, goodbye.